All right, this video I'm going to talk about implicit differentiation. Um, basically, what you've what you've learned up to the point of implicit differentiation is all your all your functions have been something like you know this. It's always been y equals something, or you've had f of x equals something. But here. And you've had y on one side by itself, but over here we have a function. We have a function in terms of x and y. And one way that you can look at finding the derivative is you take it. You take the derivative just like you always have been doing. You know, you bring the exponent down and subtract one. But this this part here, this y cubed, kind of look at that as like you're taking the derivative using the chain rule. You bring the 3 down, subtract 1, and then you're going to multiply by the derivative of y. Okay, Which, since we're taking the derivative with respect to x, the derivative of y would be dy dx. Okay, so basically what you're doing, you're taking the derivative of y and then multiplying that derivative by dy dx. Okay, so when you take the derivative of this this ter y term here, this y cubed, you take the derivative exactly like you do for x cubed. The only difference is you multiply this, the derivative of the y cubed, times dy dx. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So the derivative of x cubed, that's going to be 3x squared. Bring the 3 down, subtract 1. Plus, and then for the y cubed, you bring the 3 down, subtract 1 from the exponent. So we're left with y squared times dy dx equals, and now the derivative of 8 is 0. Because we know any time we take the derivative of a constant term, we get 0. And now all we do is we solve for dy dx. So we move the 3x squared over. So that's going to be 3y squared dy dx equals negative 3x squared. Okay, And then we divide both sides by 3y squared. So that leaves us with dy dx is equal to negative x squared over y squared. The threes cancel. Okay, and this would be your answer. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look at another one. Okay, so how about this one? So it's going to be the same thing. Okay, so so let's look at this part. Here I have to use the product rule. Okay, so remember the product rule is the derivative of the first term times the second term plus the derivative of the second term times the first term. So that's going to be 2x times y. So the derivative of x squared is 2x times the second term plus the derivative of the second term, so the derivative of y is 1, and then times dy dx, and 1 times dy dx is just dy dx, times the first function, or the first term, times x squared, plus, now, I have to take the derivative of this y squared x, so I have to use the product rule here also. So the derivative of y squared, and that's going to be 2y, and then times dy dx, okay, times the second function, so times x, plus the derivative of the second, so the derivative of x is just 1 times the derivative of, uh, I'm sorry, not times the derivative, times the first ter term, so times y squared. And that equals the derivative of negative 2, 
which is zero. So now I have to solve for dy dx. So all my terms that have a dy dx in them, I'm going to keep them on this side. So this term and this term, I'm going to move to the other side. So I'm going to subtract both of them to both sides. So that's going to leave me with x squared dy dx plus 2y dy dx equals negative 2xy minus y squared. All right, so now you can see I have a common term or a common factor of dy dx, so I can factor that out. And so that leaves me with x squared plus 2y equals negative 2xy minus y squared. <clears throat> and now I just divide both sides by this x squared plus 2y. So dy dx is equal to negative 2xy minus y squared over x squared plus 2y and this would be my answer all right so I think I'm gonna stop this video here I'm gonna make another video with a with another example uh, so I hope this has helped and uh, hope you'll check out my other videos and if you like them you can subscribe all right thanks